Hi everyone, my name is Darren and today I'm going to be giving a tutorial on Views Nevo Slider. Now if you haven't already used this module, Views Nevo Slider is a jQuery based slideshow with views and image cache integration. There is a Drupal 6 version available as well as a development version available for Drupal 7. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be using a Drupal theme called Blog Buzz. The main reason I'm using this particular theme is that it has a nifty little showcase region that is perfect for placing Views Nevo Slider. As you can imagine, there are a few different modules that we need for Views Nevo Slider. Now, I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to be enabling them as I go along. First of all, we need CCK. We also need File Field, Image Field, Link. Now, I'm also going to be using Text, but that's actually part of the CCK module. And I might actually just disable a couple of things that I don't need, and that is Color and Comment and I'm just going to continue scrolling down. Now, we also need the Image API module. Just going to enable that as well. And we also need Image Cache. So I'm just going to enable those. We need jQuery Update, and we're going to be using the alpha version of jQuery Update. And obviously, we also need Views, Views Nevo Slider, and as well as the Views UI, which is actually part of the Views module. Now, if we just click Save Configuration, and just wait a few seconds for it to update. Now, one of the first steps that we need to do is we actually need to create content. And to do that, we're going to create a content type. So if you just click on Content Management, and then scroll down to Content Types. Now, we're just going to click on Add Content Type. And I'm going to call this Slideshow. And it's going to be of the type Slideshow. Just going to type something in for the description. Now, I'm just going to alter the submission form settings. I'm going to get rid of the body field because we don't really need to use that. Now, that does depend on what you're going to be using Views Nevo Slider for, but for this particular uh, tutorial, I'm just going to be disabling that. And I'm also going to click on Workflow Settings, and I'm just going to remove the tick from Promoted to Front Page. Just click on Save Content Type. So what we do have now is we have a slideshow content type. Um, and as you can see, we've got the Manage Fields button over here, or link, I should say. Just click on the Manage Fields option. And now we're actually going to create a couple of different fields. Basically, we need to add an image. We need to add some text. And we're also going to add a little link field. So the, for the first uh, item that we need, we're going to have an image. So we just type in image, field, image. Select the field type, file, image, click save. Now we have a few options under here. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a little path setting. And I just like to use this because it means that I can actually keep all my content um, basically in a fairly sort of logical sort of manner. So I'm going to create a folder called Slideshow. And it will store all my images underneath that. Now, the only other thing that I want to do here is under the global settings setting, I just want to make sure that we have a required field. So we only need the one image per node. That is one of the issues with um, Views Nevo Slider. You can only use one image per node. And I'm just going to click on Save Field Settings. Now, for the second, I'm going to create a text field. So we'll just call that text. Just enable that, and we just want to use a straight text field, don't need to use the text area. So we click Save. Now there are a few options under here. Once again, I'm going to make it a required setting. Number of values, 1. And I'm actually going to enter something in here for the maximum length. Now I'm just going to enter in 160. We don't really want it to be exceeding that, and that really does depend on the actual size or width of your image. But for this purpose, I'm just going to use 160. Click Save Settings. And we're just going to add the link field now. And we only have the one option there. So click Save. What I'm going to do is set it as a required value once again. And anything else under here, I'm just going to ignore. So just click Save Field Settings. 
Okay, so now what we've done is we've created a content type for the slideshow. We've also added the appropriate fields that we need. Uh, they are primarily the image field, a link field, and also a text field. So what we can actually start doing now is we can click on content. As you can see, I've just got one item down here. So we're actually going to create some content now. So I'm going to click on create content, create slideshow. Now I'm going to call this a very original name. I'm just going to call it slideshow one. I'm going to select an image. Now I've already prepared some images. I'm going to upload those images. I'm just going to add some text. Uh, this is the text for slideshow one. Now, because I've actually enabled this and I'd like to use it for going to different um, either nodes or even different external links, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type in here lorem ipsum. If you noticed before, I had a content or one item, one content item, sorry, created already. And that was just basically a test page. So I happen to know that that is node five. So then I'm just gonna click on save. Now you can see that that's actually slightly larger. We could actually use image cache to uh, make that a bit smaller, but in this instance, I'm not gonna worry about that too much at the moment. What I am gonna do is just create some more content. Slideshow two. Select my slide two image. This is the text for slideshow two. Now I'm just going to add a link title. Um, I'll just link it to Google. Now I could actually add some more images in. Um, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I don't really need to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go in and create a image cache preset. Just going to scroll down to image cache, add new preset. Now I'm going to call this a very original name. It's going to be called original. Now I'm not actually going to add any actions to this. I'm just going to leave it um, blank more or less. Uh, this will actually display the original image. Now, Views in the Slider does actually require that you use an image cache preset, and that's why I'm actually just using this blank one. So I'm going to click on Save Preset. Now, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to click on Views, and we're going to create a new view for a slideshow. So I'm going to call it, once again, an original name, Slideshow, and Slideshow. Scroll down to the bottom, click Next. And here's where I start to add the fields. Now the fields are what we added to the content type originally. So what I'm going to do is here is just click on the little plus sign. That means we're adding. I'm going to select the Content Image field, click Add. Just going to scroll down here, click none for the label. For the format, I'm actually going to set that to the original image. Now the original is actually the image cache preset that we created before. Then I just click on update. Now I'm just going to add the extra fields in. So we're going to add in the field link and we might as well add the field text in as well. Now you can actually enable a few options under here and it will actually step you through the process of adding the information that you need. Uh, we're just gonna scroll down, we're gonna click none, title as link, just gonna check that. We're just gonna use URL as link, click update. And under here, just gonna create, or sorry, click on none. And then on the format, just gonna select plain text and click update. As you can see, we have our image, we also have our link as URL, and we also have the text. Now what I'm going to do is just going to create a filter under views, and primarily that's used 
so that you can actually exclude content that you don't need to appear in here. For example, if we had different bits of content or different content types, um, they would actually appear under here by default. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a filter so that we only show uh, the slideshow content type and also make sure that the only slideshow content that we're going to be showing is published content. So what we do is click on here, go down to node. This just makes it easier to find. We want node published and we also want node type. And we click add on that. And this is the publish setting. So we click yes, click update. And we only want to show the node type slideshow. So we select that and then click update. Now, it doesn't look as though we've done much at the moment, but we have actually done a fair bit. Now, there's a few steps remaining. What we do is we click on style under the basic settings and we select the Nevo slider. Click update. We're just going to leave it as um, the original settings that we wanted. We don't really have to alter anything now that we may not need to. So click update. Scroll up to the top. Click on row style fields. Once again, we select the use Nevo slider. Click update. Now here's where we actually start adding in the fields that we need to display. So for the image field, we're just going to click down on that. Content image field. For the title field, um, I'm just going to use content text and for the link field, just going to use content link. Click update, then click save. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a block display. Now this is a very easy process to do. We literally just click here, click block, click add display. And there we have it. Now we just need to save that. And we're on to the final step. So we go to site building, blocks. We just scroll down. You can see here that we've now got a slideshow block option. What we do is we just select the region that we want to display that in. So we click showcase. Scroll back up to the top and we can actually see that slideshow block is enabled there. Now we're just going to click on save blocks and as you can see we've got our views nevo slider block created. Now you can see the image, you can see the text that we've enabled and if I was to click on this it would take me to my node 5 content and that's how easy creating a views nevo slider uh, slideshow really is. It's um Basically just a few steps. Uh, I think that took less than 10, 15 minutes and pretty much we now have a slideshow in place. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Bye.